Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run of uh, that wonderful mod. We are in month number 3. Gosh, the music is so... We are in month number 3. One sec. Alright, second attempt. We are in month number 3. Everything is working well, but the aliens start to retaliate a little bit. So here you can see the mechanism of uh, Long War. If you are doing really well, the game is becoming substantially more difficult. We do have a Protect the Data tab uh, with the Resistance uh, here. That is a sort of retaliation mission where we are essentially going in with the team Hot and uh, we can bring up to eight uh, resistance members. We only have six available, but uh, essentially we need to defend the data uh, piece and save our um, resistance operatives. Let me shortly get this here sorted out and then we can give it a go. Good, turned out that they are already pretty decently equipped. I just put in some weapon upgrades. Uh, we put the prime team into this run, the one that has just uh, d done the grab and smash operation, so let's directly go and do the mission. Our target needs to be to essentially prevent um, Advent from uh, killing any of our soldiers and on the other side kill uh, hopefully all of the Advents. It's, uh, it was said that it is 12 to 15. And we have landed uh, in the middle of our zone. Our intelligence gathering operations in the region have not escaped Advent's notice. Resist members have established a listening post in hostile territory. Unfortunately, their data tab was discovered by Advent. Uh, it is, uh, they are closing in to destroy it and eliminate all of the agents. Neutralize the strike force before it's too late. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so let's take a look. We do have a two-story house, which is always good because it means high ground. <coughs> we do have a lot of Advan, uh, a lot of our agents down here, and we're starting essentially from here, which means we gotta move fast, whilst they might need to protect against the northern side. So, let's take a look here. Every single person that you are seeing here, every single agent, so to speak, is essentially one of our resistance operatives. So, if we are messing it up, they are going to die. Tarek here is even the engineer. So, Tarek, my man. Get to the upper floor, put yourself into a room, and simply stay out of line of sight. Good, we're continuing. I want to sa um, save the upper uh, side. Upper side meaning the northern part of the map here. And that requires high ground. Lots and lots and lots of high ground. We do have F SMGs and normal um, assault guns, and everyone here has a few really nice pieces of equipment as well, uh, smoke grenades, and so on and so forth. So since smoke runs for multiple rounds, might as well drop it now. And uh, we, on the other side, Need to see, decide what to do. I will approach the carefully from the southern uh, portion and we're hopefully being able to go to the house. Uh, first pack directly uh, pull. Mech plus a couple of um, mech plus a couple of troopers.
I feel that we need to immediately deal with the Mac. And the question is, who does uh, have armor penetrating rounds? Essentially, Zirkim, and that's about it. Plus, of course, our sniper. Now, we can't move and shoot with the sniper, but we need the DPS. So, let's start doing this. It's a commitment to A, not pull a second pack, and B, essentially kill all of them because elsewise we would be standing in the open all right edgar alien poe moves in we might be able to simply kill the um, advent sentry right here i'm not sure why he still has high cover Oh, it's again a mistake. He stands behind the stone. Well, that would have been good to know beforehand. Which means we're going in and we're attacking him with a Templar. Uh, unfortunately, not 100% a kill. Um, yeah, it would be nice. I, I absolutely dislike the placement buffs, uh, bugs, and I never had that before, so. I must conclude currently Long War has this problem. It's hopefully going to resolve itself in the future. As it stands, it's pretty annoying. This guy here seems to also be behind. Because look, um, I can barely flank this person here. Moving to here. Okay, we definitely can use our we definitely can use our um, our parry ability to kill this guy. And Edgar Alien Poe could try to give it a shot as well. Oh, there you go. We're still going to parry. We're not going to run and gun, but instead double move. I want to get to the house as fast as possible. Good, we got some loot here and so far we only have found one pack of enemies. Before we go in, might as well grab the loot over here. I guess that'll be okay. Reinforcements are soon going to show up. I am tempted to say that maybe the other packs come somewhere from here. That's the end of the map already, so very likely that they're coming from here. Which means we got to get ready if that happens. Moving over here. Fury takes a cover position here. And we can either go for a high, high uh, ground position over here, but then the shooting angles into this direction wouldn't be so nice. So instead, let's uh, put Heater here. And she essentially just needs good aim in order to still hit. So we're moving to all of the locations where we can 
where we can um, overwatch most optimally. Three people in high ground. Three down here, and Tarek, you're just hunkering down. All right, Overwatch here and here. Um, I want to do that because we might uh, trigger something. I don't want to leave him in the open as well, so we're doing a compromise and putting him here. Not the best position. Incredibly calm. Usually these missions escalate very, very quickly. So let's see. These guys here are yelling, which means Edwin will be coming into our direction. So far, nothing. Moving over, and we're going to approach basically the house from here. Still overwatching inside. up to here see if Kim takes that spot I would say our sniper we might want to position her here that's that should have proper angles for every everything It's Overwatch time. Alright, the rookies are going to start fighting against the first pack. We have this nice balcony up there. And there's another pack. Well, there we go. The, the yelling certainly did its job. I must say, the rookies even did a better job in overwatching than uh, the XCOM agents. True story. Okay, and back. So, reinforcements are incoming next round. We gotta be very uh, aware of that uh, fact. Four enemies over here, four enemies over here. It's a war on two fronts. But I think we can do a deal with it. So, first things first. Let's deal with the rookies, shall we? So we got some incredibly potent high ground positions up here. Essentially dealing with the normal advent forces. I put someone with five hit points basically 
on the balcony because they will be one of the few people in half cover. I am considering um, excuse me, I am considering uh, to use grenades to get rid of uh, these guys here. Probably the right call. We ignore the drone for now. It does little damage. Can't hit both of them, but we want to uh, get the gunner down first. Full cover is very difficult to uh, to hit for them. Not going to waste a lot of attempts to try to actually um, hit into full cover. We're instead uh, we're instead just using grenades. Even if it um, destroys the loot, we want to make sure that none of the rookies, um, none of the resistance forces here dies. Because that would truly uh, cost more uh, than just the loot. Um, each of them probably is worth 10, maybe 20 resources so and the um, engineer is worth even more 150 so gotta be careful yep that's good enough Good. So, everything here uh, minus the drone is dead, and we can deal with the drone next turn. Now, let's see what our sniper can see. 100% on the trooper, or a little bit on the scout. It is lamentable that she can see the mech because we need to eliminate it first. Can Zirkim here see the mech? No. It seems as if he can see anything here. Yeah. That is unfortunate. So we can still kill the mech with uh, us charging in. But I was hoping that we would be able to, to take it out with uh, little effort. I'm not going to take a 33% shot. What I am going to do though is... You know, Zirkim could hand over an action, right? Right. Okay. If Dark Tower moves all the way up to here, and then simply bombards the whole area, that would solve the issue. Alternatively, we can move up to here think is the better choice. All right, I'm gone. Still half cover. It's 
two tiles off from here. Mm. Before we do that, let's fortify our position. I want to test something. So the accuracy of, uh, of the rocket goes down if you have moved beforehand. But if we're giving teamwork back, the game might consider him as quote unquote as is if he wouldn't have moved. Yep, that's exactly what it does. Which means this here is an accurate rocket. And finally, we can see the mech in all of its glory, plus the trooper right next to it. Mech is severely shredded, trooper is down. Moving in with uh, Fortify. Gotta be careful, I still am very aware about uh, the um, the undying um, dark event, so these guys might reappear. And that's an elite soldier. Unfortunately, we can't kill him immediately, but we can parry. There are the reinforcements. They are landing pretty much on top of us. Look at you guys, you already found uh, the uh, the data port. Good, we parry his shots. Uh, this guy here, the cleanup should be easy. Unfortunately, we're not getting focus. That's really, that's really unfortunate. Okay, so, wait a second. Wait a second. Let's do the things in the right order. The mech is barely, barely out of line of sight. Well, that's what you're telling me. That's really unfortunate. Okay, the mech needs to die first, so Zirkim here is uh, keeping his position. And essentially eliminates the mech. Fresh reload for Edgar Alien Poe. Edgar could move to here and he would be flanking two of them. I think even the guy inside is 100% shot and 94%. We're going to take the 100% shot because we can deal with the guy inside. The gunner is not our biggest problem. Darktown Oxus carefully moves up. And we are looking at what? A toasty advent? Yes. 
Oh fuck, I forgot. They are immune because of the dark event. Okay, my bad. My, totally my bad. However, we can fling these guys here. And wh whoever is left over at the end of uh, this mass flanking. Got a hair trigger. Whoever is left over at the end of this mass flanking, that's the person uh, whom we're essentially um, needing to kill. So with our with our melee troopers there we go let's get this guy 70% unfortunately a miss we are saving Renman and Fury Eighty percent miss. And finally, the kill. Tarek moves back into the room to hide down uh, and hunker down. To very nice, very nice. I think we can kill him. Good. You know what? Renman goes for run and gun. And this here should end the gunner. And then it's only the drone which is left o uh, which is left over. So this drone is dead. I think that that would be it. Yeah, I see no further reinforcements. Status confirmed. Yep, and that's it. Successfully defended. Now, don't be fooled. At, at the very beginning, um, these missions are still easier because your rebels and their grenades are actually having an impact as the mission progresses let's put it this way they will get a little bit better weaponry but if a sectopod and um, eight uh, alien uh, troopers that are highly upgraded and have armor um, begin to raid your uh, central there uh, then rest assured that your rookies won't do really a lot other than maybe dying. At that point flashbang grenades and, and simply smoke grenades as well as uh, suppression if the rookies are leveled up are your best friend 
to stall out the fight for a few rounds. We got two promotions out of it. Edgar Alien Poe got promoted to Sergeant and we're taking medical protocol so he can finally heal. Uh, we got Dark Tower Noxus here. Um, absolutely and always Shredder because that is gonna be important and we got a nice little PCS uh, aim. I like it. Plus depth perception. You know what? That's going to be good for our sniper. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. That's going to be good for our sniper. Almost everyone already has PCSs for now. I like the depth perception. Or we can essentially give her six aim whenever, which we're going to do. But we do have more than one sniper, so... Might want to equip them with PCSs, but we can do that. I can do that. Um, and before the missions actually happen. So we just defended uh, that region, which um, should have an impact. Vigilance hasn't increased. Interesting. Vigilance hasn't increased, but we also haven't lost any rookies. And thanks to our ridges scanning for activities, we even found uh, that before it happened. Um... You know what? There is an, uh, there is the option to essentially go and do this right now, which is probably necessary. So these, this mission here would um, give us resistance, another resistance contact and intel for our endeavor to expand. That's exactly what we want. We almost have enough intel uh, to expand into a, a further region. But we need to build a tower for that. And with an additional contact, might want to go into Europe. And yeah, we need to do the mission right now. Operation Brooding Skies. Anyways, um, short episode today, only 30 minutes. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the content, uh, consider leaving a like down below. And uh, we are seeing each other very soon. Bye bye.